Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain solution of reader's writer problem. This is one of the classical pro synchronization problem. Uh, in this problem, there is a single file on which there are multiple writers. There is a possibility that uh, there are multiple writers, and there is a possibility of multiple readers. So this problem states that how to provide a solution which allow multiple readers to read that file, but when it comes to writer only single writer can access that file so in this video i will explain how this solution which is suggested for this problem works so this is the code for writer and this is the code for readers so this code is actually using semaphore so let's say first scenario uh, let's see first scenario so in this scenario uh, we are going to discuss what will happen if multiple writers want to write something to a same file so for this purpose we are having a single semaphore wr mutex initial value of this semaphore is 1 and these two writers want to write to this file and this is the code for each so let's say writer 1 start writing first so it will execute its first instruction wait wr mutex this function what this function will do this function will decrease value of this semaphore and it will check whether this value is less than 0 or not if this value is less than 0 after decrement it will wait otherwise it will continue its execution so initial value of semaphore is 1 after calling this function this value will become 0 so this value is not less than 0 so it in that case this writer will continue its execution and here right here so here this writer start writing something to this file okay so this writer accessing this file now let's say this writer also start executing its code so what it will do it will execute first instruction this instruction says calling wait function this function will decrease this value again now this value become minus 1 and this wait function after decrement if it will find that value is less than 0 it, in that case execution will be stuck in that instruction so what will happen this writer will start waiting it will wait uh, for this value to be let's say non zero uh, sorry non negative so as soon as this value will become 0 or more than 0 in that case this waiting will be over so here this writer is waiting 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 and this writer is writing to this file now let's say writing operation is done for this writer so this writer will execute signal wr mutex so this function it, this function will increase value of wr mutex semaphore so here this semaphore value increase and as soon as this value become zero it will be notified to this writer and this writer waiting will be over and it will continue its execution and it will start writing now so we have seen in this scenario if multiple writers are there only one writer will get access to to that shared file to perform write operation so the, when this second writer will be finished with its operation it will call signal function and that signal function will increase value of this semaphore so this is the first scenario now let's say second scenario in second scenario what we are taking we are assuming that a writer is writing something to a file at the same time a reader wants to read so what will happen so in writer we are using a schema for wr mutex in reader we are using a schema for mutex and wr mutex and one variable readers so we are totally having two schema for and one variable so let's see the execution of writer so writer actually start executing its code before reader so writer will call this wait wr mutex it will call wait function on this semaphore and this function will decrease the value and then check if this value is less than zero start waiting otherwise continue execution so writer will execute its next instruction and 
write here so let's assume writing writer is writing some data in file and at the same time reader came and this reader wants to read same file so reader start executing his instruction so in reader first instruction call wait function on mutex semaphore so this uh, wait function will decrease value of this semaphore and it becomes zero now this is not less than zero so it, in that case it will continue its execution readers plus plus it will increase number of readers so this variable actually specify how many readers right now waiting for the reading operation so readers one it means there is only only one reader right now which is waiting for the resource or that file next instruction uh, here it will check whether there is only one reader reader exist so this variable is having right now one reader so it will actually specify is this the first reader or not so this is the first reader so if this is the first reader this condition is satisfied so this instruction will get executed and when this instruction will be executing this instruction which is a wait function on wr mutex whenever this function is called current value will be decreased now this value will become minus 1 it means this reader has to start waiting because if the semaphore value is less than 0 that process has to wait so reader will be in waiting state now let's concentrate on writer code now let's assume writer is done with its writing operation and at the end it will execute signal wr mutex and it will increase the value of this semaphore so now this value will become zero and as soon as this value become non negative this reader also start executing its instruction so next instruction it will increase value of mutex semaphore and here reader now start reading so reader cannot read that file if that file is already accessed by a writer okay and once the reading is done what reader will do reader will call again wait function on mutex this one will decrease the value and make it zero then it will decrease value of this one because reading operation is done so it has to decrease this value and here it will check whether this is a last reader or not so in case of readers equal to equal to zero this condition is satisfied it will increase it will call signal function all on wr semaphore and so this value will make it one and at the end signal function will be called on this semaphore it will make it one so in this scenario we have seen how a reader is blocked to access that shared resource while writer is writing something now let's see the third scenario so in this scenario we want to see uh, how multiple readers can be allowed to read same file whether this code will work or not so there are two readers this reader start reading file first so it will call wait mutex so this mute call function it will decrease value of the semaphore make it zero and this is not less than zero so in that case it will continue its execution the second instruction it will increase value of readers variable so it means right now there is one reader which is waiting for its turn or which is currently reading and then it will check whether the, this is the first reader so it will check whether the readers variable equal to one condition is satisfied it will execute this instruction and this instruction what this instruction will do this instruction will call wait function on wr mutex semaphore and this wait function will decrease the value make it zero and if this value is less than zero it will wait this value is not less than zero it will continue its execution next instruction signal signal function will increase the value of this semaphore so right now this semaphore is having zero value this signal function will make it 1 and then this reader start reading now this reader is already reading and another reader came and this reader also start executing its 
instructions so first instruction says wait mutex so this wait function will be called on this semaphore it will decrease this value this value is not less than zeros in that case it will continue its execution the readers plus plus it will increase the value of reader so right now there are two readers then it will check this condition so here if you can see this one is not the first reader this was the first reader so this condition if readers equal to equal to 1 this condition is not satisfied so in that case this signal this instruction will not get executed and here this reader will signal mutex semaphore so this signal function will increase value of the semaphore and make it 1 and here this reader also start reading so if you can see two readers are reading at the same time so if there is some more reader those reader also start reading at the same time and once they are done so let's say first reader is done it will execute rest of its code it will call wait function on mutex make it zero it will decrease the value of readers so this value will show actually right now there is only one reader in the system if readers equal to equal to zero so this will specify is this the last reader no this is not the last reader this reader is the last reader so this condition is not satisfied so this uh, instruction will not get executed at the end it will call signal function on mutex which will increase the value of mutex semaphore so this reader is done with its execution now this reader this reader also execute the same it will call wait mutex it will decrease the value of mutex semaphore then it will decrease value of readers then it will check whether this is the last reader or not so condition is fulfilled in that case it will execute next instruction signal wr mutex so this instruction will increase value of wr mutex semaphore and make it 1 and at the end it will signal mutex semaphore and make it 1 so uh, in this video th we have taken only three scenarios there are other scenarios as well like uh, if a writer is writing something and there are multiple readers or if a reader is reading something there are multiple writer but i hope this will give you a clear explanation how this code actually works thank you very much for watching